In this problem, our task is to integrate this rational function where the numerator is a cubic, but the denominator is a quadratic. The first thing we're going to notice is that the degree of the denominator is less than the degree of the numerator. We can't start partial fraction decomposition until it's the other way around. The degree of the denominator has to be more than the degree of the numerator. So when you're in this situation, then what you do is long divide the denominator into the numerator. So we need to take x squared plus 16 and long divide it into x cubed minus 2x squared plus 18x minus 29. Um, there's no shortcut, there's no synthetic division. We have to actually long divide this ourselves. How does it work? Well, it's helpful if actually you have missing terms represented. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as x squared plus 0x's plus 16. Not necessary, but it's helpful. And then divide it into the same thing, x cubed minus 2x squared plus 18x minus 29. And now we um, start with these leading terms. If you have an x squared and you need an x cubed, you would multiply by x. When you distribute that across to all parts here, you end up with x cubed plus no x squares plus 16x. Remember, at this point, remember you have to subtract, and so the x cubes cancel. You end up with negative 2x squared plus 2x minus 29. And you start the process over again. If you have x squared and you need negative 2x squared, you need to multiply by a negative 2. You distribute that over across to the other three terms on the outside, and you end up with the minus 2x squared, 0x's, minus 32 for the constant term. But remember, we have to subtract that. So the x squares cancel like they're set up to be, and you're left with 2x plus 3. So what have you actually done? This part here is your remainder. How do you know when you're done, when the degree of um, your, your part that comes from subtracting is less than the degree of the polynomial that you're dividing um, by? And so that's your remainder. What we've basically shown is that our fraction can be rewritten as the x minus 2 part of the quotient. And then the remainder, remember how we write remainders? We put them over what we were dividing by. And so the remainder 2x plus 3 is over what we were dividing by x squared plus 16. And it's just a renaming of our fraction with the goal in mind to make it so that now the degree of the denominator is more than the degree of the numerator. Okay, great. So how do you integrate what we have now? When it comes to this part here, it's like we already found the a, b, and c. It really isn't partial fraction decomposition. We have the, the, um, the constant 2 and the constant 3 above these, this uh, x squared plus 16 term. And um, what we're going to do is split it into two separate fractions. We have 2x over x squared plus 16, and then a 3 over x squared plus 16. Because each of those individually can be you know, we can find the antiderivative for uh, for them. Um, so now we have to uh, find the antiderivative for each. And so we uh, take these parts that aren't that bad, right? We take um, x's antiderivative is x squared over 2. Negative 2's antiderivative is negative 2x. How about this guy here, 2x over x squared plus 16? With that one, we just need a u substitution. If we let, if we let u be equal to 
if we let u be equal to 2x, I'm sorry, x squared plus 16, then du is 2x dx. And that's exactly what we have for the numerator. So we'll be looking at um, du over u, or 1 over u du, which is the natural log of the absolute value of u. And so this is going to be the natural log of the absolute value of x squared plus 16. That's always going to be positive. You can drop the absolute value, but um, that's OK. Then finally, we have this 3 over x squared plus 16. Um, anytime you integrate 1 over x squared plus 1, that is the antiderivative. Um, to take the antiderivative of that, you just re recognize that it's arctan's derivative. But what about when you have uh, x squared plus a squared? Um, I just want you to use a formula for that. And it's whenever you're trying to integrate 1 over x squared plus a squared, uh, that turns out to be 1 over a, the arctan of x over a. It comes from just doing some algebra um, to make basically what we have here look like what we had before. You're factoring out an a. So with, our, with us, we have this 3 constant, and then we're integrating 1 over x squared plus 16 using the formula that becomes 1 over 4 the arctan of x over 4. So we have for our final answer x squared over 2 minus 2x plus the natural log of x squared plus 16 plus 3 uh, let's call it 3 fourths the arctan of x over 4 plus a constant. That would be your antiderivative of the original rational function. So it might require integration by parts. I mean, sorry, it might require um, partial fraction decomposition once you've done your long division. But what's nice about this is that we didn't have to do it for, for this particular version of it because they, um, we could, um, we had this irreducible quadratic that couldn't be factored down anymore, and so we already knew the constants up top that, that become the bx plus c for that. And so uh, we just break it into separate parts and have it as 2x over x squared plus 16 and 3 over x squared plus 16.